This was a singular opportunity where a government has made one of the most uh, strategic, pivotal sites in the country and in the city available for singular development. Almost 10 million square feet of space are provided here for a mix of uses. And it's a kind of mix that really creates the public place, convention center, theaters, museum, hotels, casino, shopping, uh, promenade, recreational space. All of that together, you know, draws hundreds of thousands of people here. So for me, this was an opportunity to show that you can create a vital urban meeting place, as vital as the Greek agora and the Roman uh, piazzas and the grand arcades of Europe in a kind of contemporary bringing together of the public at large. It draws the people of Singapore as well as tourists. And the architecture of this place is basically about this kind of place of interaction. The government of Singapore has created a public art incentive program. The idea is that developers are encouraged to create public art, uh, for which they get a 2% extra floor space for the project. That is, they get more buildable uh, space and they pay its equivalent in art. We seized on that opportunity to create a program in which there is truly integrated art and architecture, bringing in the artists at the very early phase of the project and working with them as part of the evolution of the design. The good fortune in this case was the fact that I, as the architect, had the opportunity to recommend, select, and work with the artist that I felt would, would truly make the architecture and the art a singular experience, a totally integrated experience. Um, with Netcan, I've had a history of a relationship, beginning with our exploration place at, in uh, Wichita, which, in which Ned evolved a uh, aerodynamic wall as part of the exhibits. Uh, we worked together uh, at the Alcohol Tobacco Firearms headquarters in Washington uh, uh, so that uh, there was a history of sort of knowing his work, uh, admiring the way he works with nature, with wind, with water, with fire, sort of amplifying the laws of nature into an artistic experience. And here I wanted to add to it the component that his contributions uh, as an artist would actually help the sustainability of the of the building. So for example, beginning with the atrium of the hotel, we had this enormous glass wall that faces west. Tropical Singapore, hot, uh, the setting sun can uh, make you cook behind this enormous surface of glass. And so forward of it, suspended, literally suspended, Ned had evolved the, the wind arbor as an element that moves in the wind, looks like flowing water. At night, it looks like a flame or fire. But in fact, what it also does is create shade behind it. And so that it's like being under a tree, being under the tree in the forest. And when you're in the atrium, you have that pleasure of even sensing the movement, uh, as well as getting the shade, the benefit of the shade.
so art becomes uh, functional, it becomes an artistic experience, it amplifies the elements of nature around the building, and it becomes part of the architecture. And similarly, in the vortex, where we created this inverted dome, this inverted dome which hovers over the node in the retail, um, because of its inversion, by definition collects the rain, and the rain pours right in as a waterfall into the pond below. However, it doesn't always rain, and therefore to kind of celebrate the idea of rain and celebrate the collection of water as a sort of, uh, as a, sort of a metaphor for sustainability, Ned evolved the vortex where the water is spun. You see it from above, you see it from below. At night, of course, you see through the lights, and then it spins in a kind of a spiral right into the habitable space below. And again, we have sort of an event. It occurs every hour, every half hour. People get all excited. All of a sudden, they understand the concept of a whirlpool of rotation. Uh, they see how the impact of the water moving above uh, is amplified as the waterfall comes into it. So the whole thing becomes kind of celebration and festive. And, uh, and that's what I feel public art needs to do, is engage the public. And, Ned's work really manages to engage the public.